Hey everybody. Okay, I thought I would, uh, before I stamp any more papers, I'm going to do the cover. And I forgot that I have to cut the covers down a little bit so that it fits the laminating sheet. So unfortunately, that makes this a little bit close, as you can see. However, I will be putting lace, sewing lace, on these ends, and that will take care of that overhang. So it's perfectly fine. So I have one sheet of laminating paper. And I'm gonna do the decoration I decided on top of the laminating rather than putting it under because I want the tactile feel and I'm just going to glue it on top is my plan. Um, this will not seal all the way here um, simply because um, um, it's too close but there will be lace being sewn so it's all right okay so here's the laminator it's a scotch you know it wasn't real expensive and it's been a really good laminator so I'm just gonna put my sheets line that up and just let that feed through and I usually feed it through three or four times I just feel like if I do that, um, it's better. So that's generally what I do. And then I'll just pause the video and sew on the lace and then come back. But I wanna choose my lace, so we'll take a look at my laces and decide which one we want to go with. And I'm kind of thinking of going a little bold but we'll see I mean I don't have it's not all bold that's for sure but so I'm not sure what I'll do but I'm, I'll take a look at what I have so then I just flip it and put it through the other way very calm it's very calming because you have to wait <laughs> you don't have a choice you just have to wait so while I wait, let me get my traveler's notebook closed because it's just sitting there open. And then I think I'll just do it one more time. And I might um, get a button to go. I'm going to put this brick back. I'm going to put it around here. I'm going to glue it around. And maybe I'll glue a little button on here as well. That might be kind of cute. And then just one more time. So maybe while that goes one more time, I will grab my buttons. And I just want my vintage color, these colors. And um, so let's see. I mean, I got some really interesting buttons. And I just, really, I'm just going to glue on the button. Um, and I want something like, kind of like, actually I like that a lot. I'm just going to do that for my button. And I just had to figure out um, to stitch a little, just take a little bit of floss through here. Um, but I don't want to do that until I see what my lace is going to be. Okay, so that's all you have to do. I want to get this moved so um, the only other thing I'm going to do is I will fold this and then I just like to take this and go like this very simple okay and then I'm just gonna go start well let me pick the lace with you all first I did say I'd pick pick some lace so, most of my lace is just um, one color, but um, I want it to be wide enough. I'm really, really tempted on this blue, but probably that's not a good choice. 
but I think I need a cream. Let's look at this piece. I think I like this one. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Yes, this is totally it, totally it. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna turn this off, I'm gonna sew, and I will come back. Okay, so now, <clears throat> onward and upward. Okay, so here's the cover. So as you can see, this should cover up that bit of overhang. And when I, it's sewn in, there'll be less overhang as well. It just happens. I mean, you always get um, overhang when the journals are this way. So here's what I did for the cover. I went ahead and sewed this. And then um, I'm going to glue on... I'm going to glue it on and then the button will take care of the rest. So I'm just going to take some Fabri-Tac. It's probably the best um, thing, I think, for getting this to stick. And it dries pretty fast, so I like to use it. Okay. Super duper easy. So let's just um, put this right here. I just I really like I like this for the cover a lot. I don't know, I just do. It looks like I need a tiny bit here just to hold this piece down. So Let's see if that helps. Yeah, that's good because it was kind of sticking up. Okay, the next part, I'm just going to set this aside and pick the color um, here for the button. And I want this orange -y color because that's kind of the, I feel like that's the one that's um, most prominent. Or, you know what, this pumpkin, kind of a pumpkin color. I think I like this one better. All I'm doing is doing it so I can tie, um, <clears throat> make it look like it's sewn, even though it's not sewn. <laughs> it's just a little trick, people. So let's see, because this is so cute. This is so cute. So let's bring this one up here. And then let's... I think I'll tie, I need to go the other way. Um, I need to come up from the bottom. So let's do that again. Up from the bottom. This is just a really cool, very cool button. I like it a lot. And then we will come up here this way and then we'll come up this the bottom with the other thread okay and then I'm just gonna tie it and I'm just gonna make a tiny um, little gonna make a little bow this. All right. And then I'm going to glue it on and I'm going to put a dab of glue right here because I don't want this to come off. So just a little glue because I, I want it to stay tied. All right. Then I'm going to just put glue around the edges of the button and smack in the middle and I think that's all I need and then I'm just going to put it I was thinking right here because I think it'll be pretty um, falling down the strings like that so 
I'm just going to hold it a second. Just push that down well. Okay. All right, so there we go. I hope that my friend likes <laughs> likes this. I mean, I know that she likes the house, the house mouse, but hopefully she doesn't mind real pictures of real mice too. <laughs> Just because, you know, there are plenty of those in here as well. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, I love it so much. So my question is now, do I go and trim any of this? And I feel like if I have it in here, it's tuft stuck enough. I'm going to be okay. I just hate to trim any more than I have already trimmed because I have I feel like I've trimmed plenty. So it's just like, what do I do? What do I do? Maybe I should just go ahead and trim a little bit more. Then I'm going to finish the stamping. And then we will be ready to um, go ahead with the rest of the book. So maybe what I'll do... So here's that piece. Oh, and I have to uh, remember to... I was going to stitch where I did that... Um, where I did this and I totally forgot. So I'm just gonna take off oh, that old paper. <laughs> I forget that old paper cuts. It has a hard time cutting. So I'm just gonna just trim it a little bit. Okay, so actually I need to, I'm gonna trim off camera because I wanna sew up um, these pieces really quick as well so I will be back good morning everybody Thursday morning <laughs> and I'm ready to continue stamping so I have all the pages cut down everything fits nice I have the lace which I love this lace so much so beautiful and then inside here I did a little lace of seam binding lace so a tiny bit here here's some red um, so I didn't do a lot and this is probably all the sewing I'm gonna do in it and I'll just glue down anything else and I can sew around ephemera and stuff and then glue it down here's a black and here's another red and then on the back side the flip side some of these will have the color the seam binding lace repeated and then I'll be doing some tags um, just a few tags up at the top with the buttons like I like to do but I want to finish um, doing this part so I'm just going to pick out the blank pages and keep stamping um, this. Make sure we got this in frame. <laughs> it usually helps, doesn't it? All right, so I'm just kind of going in order with what I have of my stamps. And um, pretty much have to stand on some of these because they're so big. <laughs> And uh, I just like hope that I get them with enough ink. I mean, I'm trying. I'm gonna, this one's so big, I'm gonna put it right here. And I guess all I can do is just push down really hard and hope that the impressions come through good. And it does actually do quite well, so I am pleased with it. to look because um, I have a few sayings so I want to keep those nearby uh, so I don't miss them. All right. The next one is Mice and Flowers and I, this one is so pretty. I love this one. The Mice 
nice on this one. It just says walking in the rain with friends. So let's put it here. Oh, so adorable. I love this one. <laughs> I, think, oh, <laughs> I think this is one of my favorites. And I'm thinking that I love you with all my mice heart, even though that's more Valentine-y. I'm thinking that that would be super cute by these mice. Okay. Uh, and then I have a bunch of little ones. I need to remember to use those too. So much stuff to remember. So maybe because some of these are so big, let's do some of the smaller ones. Like right here. Ah, uh, these are just adorable. So in love. And then I need one right here. And this is mice playing cards and the mouse is cheating. <laughs> this one, I like to see if they say which mice are on them, but they don't always. I'm sure all these mice have names. And I kind of wonder if there's a book um, or a calendar or something that has that sort of thing. I'm gonna do my little mouse here. Cause he's so cute. And I'm gonna do him on the other side too. I don't think it hurts to do him twice, but I'm not gonna do him on the inside. This is just a small piece of paper. All right, next one is this one right here. So, Let's do mice and champagne bottle. This one's rather different. Um, I'm thinking that this one would be great standing up. Yeah, love it, love it. Kitty treats. That's kind of a fun one. Maybe I should have put cats intermingled. But and I thought of that with owls too, but then I thought, well, usually they're kind of enemies, so I probably don't want owls and cats because they catch and eat mice. <laughs> so maybe not those, right? That was kind of what I was thinking. Um, let's put this cute one with the mouse. Falling asleep on the duck, right here. Very faint, so that one I have to be sure to do a little, uh, press down a little more on that one, I can see. Um, and back here, let's do the my, another mouse with a cat. Excellent. I think the thing is just right. Um, just press really hard to get your impression down good. All right. On to the next one. So I will do this. And I'm going to do this mouse. I'm probably going to end up repeating some of the mouse ones. I can he was another one I need to press down a bit harder on, of course. I can see that. Then we have this mouse and marshmallows and hot peppers. And that's how they're roasting their um marshmallows. <laughs> it's great. Okay, 
So I can see, you know, sometimes it's really, it's hard to press down hard on some of these. So you have to kind of work hard at it on some of them. Did I do the mouse and kitty treats back on this one? I like do the same picture. Yeah, I did. Oh, gosh. Well, you know what? If I repeat it here, there's enough space so that it's not going to show up till way back in the book. And I want to redo the, um, the mouse and the ducky, and that will be here in the back as well because it turned out so light, and I'm really hoping I can get it definitely better okay good that means I should be able to get the mouse with the corn darker as well and he'll be a back a back page so if I'm going to redo the mouse with the corn I'm going to do him back here and this time I'll make sure to get plenty on here. There, that's much better. All right, now let's do another one of this guy. These are so cute and I just, I love them. This is like one of my favorites just because it's adorable. And it's the one that I like to use in my um, junk journaling it is so cute all right one two three I need one here let's do this leaping with the cat well they're jumping up and down on the cat he must have ate oh he ate like a whole bunch of cat food so he's in a food coma so they're <laughs> they're jumping up and down on him it's kind of funny Okay, yep, that worked good. It's like a workout, you guys. It's definitely a workout. <laughs> That's all I could say. Okay, let's see what else we want to do. Uh, I got a page coming up, I think. There we go. All right. Let's see. Some of these are really big. I just have to be careful on my space. Uh, so cute. I love this puzzle one. All right, and then let's do on the this side, let's do the mouse in the with the faucet. He's taking a bath. Hey, ah, so cute, guys. I love it. I feel like I need to redo this corn on the cob one because I feel like it didn't come out super well. There, much better. Sometimes you just have to do it harder, right? And I'm going to go ahead and do the mouse and the pea pod again because I'm now I'm going to. Um, start repeating because I've already done them all. Oh, I do have some more actually. I forgot. I have some little, I have some little ones that I want to use, and they're acrylic. So I'll go and use those on the little pages. Um, let me see what I have left of big pages. Okay, so this is the last of the big pages right here. So, we're just going to repeat um, a couple of things. Like the mouse and the flowers, because you guys know I love that one. Alright. 
let's repeat the raisin one. That was so much fun. I'll put that one back here. And we'll do the little thing on it. This is a mouse one. I don't see mice. We all scream for mice scream. And I do have something I can use that with. So I'm kind of excited about that. I need to do two more. Um, let's do the mouse poking the kitty or writing on the kitty's cast. Alright, and then I need one more. Let's see. And that's the last of the big ones. The mouse with the cat. I just love, I love these so much. Alright, okay, so there's all the big ones. So now, what we have to do is do the, I have some of these smaller ones. So I'm gonna do those to finish this up. So I'll just find some of my half size pages that I can do some stamping on, like this is really tiny. And I need my acrylic blocks. Oh gosh, I'm just dying of heat, you guys. And only because I showered and it just takes me forever to cool down. I just figure it's age and I need to, uh, <laughs> it's just age. It sucks. <sighs> Why do we have to deal with this the older we get, right? And now these I do wipe clean with a baby wipe. So I just want to make sure I got ink everywhere. And then let's just put this right here. Oh, this is such a cute birthday one. I believe my friend sent me this one for my birthday. But I didn't get it marked really good. But I think you can still tell it's a, it's a cupcake. Um, so let's put that bun back and see what the sayings are. Have a very nice birthday. Lights, candle, action. There's all kinds of fun things here. So I'm going to pull some of these sayings. Um, let's see. Make a wish. Let's just do some of those. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Dying. <laughs> Can I say? Make a wish. Then that's. See, now that turned out perfect. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. But that one turned out good. Okay, so make a wish. Then we have, um, what's this one? Let me make sure I don't have it upside down. Oh, lights, candles, action. There we go. And then have a, fairy mice birthday. I'm going to put that one across the bottom. So cute. Okay. All right. Now I have another one. And I'm going to put that one on the other side. Here we go. It's still pale. See, I have to work on my 
stamping skills. <laughs> it, it's just me. It's just my, it's just me. I just need to work on my stamping skills. <laughs> this one says, in a nutshell, enjoy your day. And I put enjoy your day backwards, upside down. <sighs> I'm just going to stamp that, make sure I've got it correct because I don't want to do it wrong. In a nutshell, enjoy your day. Love it. Okay. All right. So that one's good. We can put that one away. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm dying of heat. Dying of heat so much. <sighs> and I just want to put this ice cream, we scream, we all scream for my scream on the inside of this one. Because I think it goes really good. And this one I'm going to put hope your day is a bowl full of fun. Because I think it goes with the other side really well. So that's kind of my thoughts on that and so I think I'm done um, stamping for the most part let me just see um, if I want to stamp that other mouse the tiny mouse again and if I have a tiny page then I would like to do that so I've kind of got a mess now I do have this page, um, so maybe, maybe I should do him on this page. Cause he's so adorable, you know. And then I think I want to do the mice with the pea pods one more time over on this page. So there's some that got repeated a few times, just because. I think they look so good and I love them and so why not? All right, stamping. Stamping is done. Move my stamps underneath. I have things precariously balanced everywhere, it seems like. But I do want to show you what I found for my seam binding because um, before I sew the book I have to do um, some other things but look at what I found in my stash for this binding look it's the perfect red so this will be perfect and I'll show how I do that as well, so you get an idea. In the meantime, I wanna do the tabs on the book. So I decided I would go with, I'm gonna be sewing and I need my sewing box. So, hang on a sec. And I th then I'll show my actual sewing into the cover um, when I get home from work. So I just I just I sewing I'm sewing on with these pieces some tabs. I'm just gonna do four tabs. So I'm just gonna cut a piece. Oh, probably about two inches long for my. tabs and they don't have to all be the same the same size so you don't have to worry about that um, let's see if I can stick these this black one back in here so it doesn't fall apart on me it's the first time I actually use the black and I do like it so I have a white a black and a cream. 
So let me trim that off. So the other colors I don't need. Um, black, white, trim. Okay, now I'm good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my word, I'm dying. Just dying. Whew. Okay. Sorry, I have to do that. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to put a tab. I'm just going to kind of look and see. I'm going to put a tab on this guy right here. And I'm going to put a black tab. And I have, I have um, all kinds of buttons. And I'm thinking a colored button would be so cool on this black. And I have one red button. So... That's what I'm going to do. So here's what I do. I just take it and I fold the tab over. I'm going to put the tab toward the end here. And then I just put my button right on top. And then I sew it on. And that is how I like to do my tabs. I tried sewing my tabs on. And seriously, they looked so awful that... <laughs> I was like, not doing that again, because it was terrible. So, but see, I hide, I hide the knot under that back, the back one. Oops, idea is not to poke myself. And then, um, so two, two times on each, oh geez, two times on each of these holes here. And I'm just making sure I'm catching, oops, catching my lace. Oh, come on, cooperate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes. Sometimes people. Oh, I probably could do less. It's not like they're going to fall off or anything, right? Anyway. So I'm, then I'm just going to kind of catch it underneath. Um, put it underneath like this. Oh, I didn't mean to do it quite that way. That was not my intention. I wanted to go through, and I didn't. So anyway, that's how it goes, right? I'm just going to not worry about that. And um, basically, I'm just going to make a knot here. Must have gone through my knot, which is not my original knot, which is not what I had intended. Um, and I just do this a couple times to secure the button. The button should never come off. <laughs> that's that's for sure. I don't think it's ever gonna come off. <laughs> so, all right, let's just put this up here for the next one okay so here we go there it is and I, I just really like I like the look of it so there's button number one a little bit messy on this side but you know that's just part of the charm right <laughs> if you don't agree with me that's okay okay I think um, we're gonna do the rabbit Let's do the rabbit next. So um, I'm going to go the red button. I'm going to do, well, actually, I need to make, make my colors um, like I don't want to do two bold colors next to each other. So we're going to go the red button, or not a red button, but we're going to go this beige right here okay and then let's just find a small button for this one and I'm gonna do this little I'm not gonna do the yellow for this one I'm 
just going to do a little button on this. This one kind of has a beigey, pretty different color on it. I kind of like this one. And this is just a two hole one. So that's probably a little easier to handle. And then sometimes it's really hard to um, ugh, find your buttonhole again and manage to tack down your lace at the same time. I gotta bring this closer to me, sorry. I'll bring it back once I get this figured out. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that one a couple times. Um, I'm gonna come back here and go underneath like that. Let's see if I did it right this time, or if I didn't do it the way I wanted to. Uh, okay, this time I did it the way I wanted to. So, put this under, and just catch, you know, your thread so you're at least getting a knot of some kind. And... The back one is not going to be as neat as the front because you don't have a button on the front. Okay. Good. Let's just clip that baby. All right. So there we go. That's, I like that. That goes right here. So there's our tab. Now we have two tabs on this side of the middle. So now we want two tabs on the back side. So I'm gonna go this one here. And this is like this. So I want my tab over here and I want my red tab for this one. So I'm gonna do like that. And I'm going to do the yellow button on this one. So, I know this is not the most exciting thing to have to watch. Especially when I'm having trouble finding the hole. Come on, where are you? Oh gosh. There, I found it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So crazy. All right, then I can come back through here. And again, I just want to go through, make sure any holes I have, I go through two times. This one seemed to have worked a little better than the previous one, because I feel like I was having some issues. Let's see if we can get this one to look nice. Ugh. It's tricky sometimes, that is for sure. Um, come on. going to come around to the front like this and just do my knot this way because I feel like this one's not cooperating as well in the back. So there we go. That's better. And if there's a little thread showing that doesn't, you know, usually bother me at all. But I do need to re-thread my needle. I'm using a tougher um, nylon thread 
just more of a heavy duty. It's not nylon per se. It's just more of a heavy duty thread. Sure, when I'm trying to thread my needle on camera, I can't do it. Oh, my eyes. I'm like, I can't even see what I'm doing. I don't usually have this much trouble. I know it's only because I'm trying to do this on camera. I would not have this much trouble if I wasn't. I know it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me try the other needle. It's like I can't even see. I can't even see. This is when I need to learn how to use one of those needle threaders, you know. And I've got one. But doggone it. Oh, seriously. All right, so this is your needle. See, this isn't going to help me. I still, I still have to be able to get it through here. Oh my gosh. If I have to turn this camera off just so I can thread a needle, I'm not going to be happy. And I swear <laughs> that when I'm by myself, I do not have trouble threading a needle. I mean, I can just thread it with no trouble. I can't thread, I cannot, I can't get this threaded. What the heck? I have one with a baker. I gotta find one with a baker. I can't even thread it. It's so bad, you guys. Oh my goodness. Come on. Seriously. Ugh. There. And even then, I didn't thread it right. It's just ridiculous. I can't. I can't even thread it. And I don't have any thread on needles because I used them both up. And I just want to show you the end of this. I can't thread this needle. Concentrate. <sighs> Maybe I won't be showing you this last one. There, I did it. Oh my goodness. I feel like I should just like take off my glasses and <laughs> do it without even like with my glasses off. I mean, I might as well have been for all the time it took me, right? Oh my gosh, it's so horrible. I'm so sorry. All right, let's get this knot in here so that I can get the last button on. Oh my goodness, this one turned out really cute. I do like this one a lot. So, I think this one was right here. So then we can do one further back. Um, how about, and I did it on that page, which doesn't matter, you know, that's not a big deal. How about this page right here, next to that page? envelope. Okay, so here's the back. So what color did I have left? Was it white? It was white. So I'm going to put the white. This is the back. So this is, um, this is how I want it. And what color should we use for this button? So I used... I just feel like using colors in here. I think that's, you know, the main thing I've been doing. Oh, that's way too fluorescent. I don't think we were going to do that button. How about this one? Look at that pretty green button and how 
cute that looks right there. I think that's the button. <laughs> and this is a four hole button, so I have to go through all my holes twice. So let's see if we can do this a little quicker. I mean, I didn't mean to have you guys like sitting here doing this forever. So the next thing, like I said, when I come home tonight um, from work, I want to stitch in the cover and show you how I do that. Because the last time I did, I did show the stitching on the giveaway ones that were the same um, size and type. And so I was going to show you how I stitched them in. And I didn't realize it, but when I got all done, my camera had stopped and it was not recording anymore. I decided to go here as well for doing my knot. And I think I did it that way on those giveaway ones and it turned out much better to do it this way because you're not pulling on your lace on the back, which makes it a little messy. So I'm thinking that this is just um, a much neater way to do this whole process. But I am done with this one and this sewing box. And so I think, I think we're good. All right, so let me show it to you. Let me put this out of our way so I can show it to you. Oh gosh, what's stopping me here? That. I want to get this out of the way. All right, and the buttons, because I don't want anything to happen to my button containers. Dropping a button container <laughs> would be very disastrous, I would have to say. Okay, so here's this one. Turned out super cute as well. And let's see, I had it right here. So then tonight when I come and I sew this in the cover, I will be arranging all the papers exactly how I want them. Like as far as like where they're situated, higher, lower, or in the middle. And then I will clip them and then sew it in and it will look like this and the tabs see this will be centered the tabs will be right here and I think they match um, quite well so that's where we're at and we'll do this part too and I think it will be lots of fun so see you tonight bye